In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the Luma Fade Transition in Premiere Pro. To begin, I've imported these two clips onto my timeline over here. The first step is to make these videos overlap, so I'm going to place my video 2 above my video 1 at the exact position where I want this transition to begin. The next thing you need to do is to come over to the first control tab over here and move your time indicator to the start of your second clip over here. The next thing you need to do is to come over to the effects tab and move over to the search bar and search for the gradient wipe effect. And you'll find this effect under video effect transition. Now select this effect and drag it onto your second clip over here. The next thing you need to do is to move over to the first control tab under the gradient wipe effect. Toggle on the button next to transition completion and change the value from 0 to 100. The next thing you need to do is to move your time indicator to where you want that effect to end and change the value from 100 to 0. Now if we go back and hit play, you can see what we've created over here. And you can also adjust the speed of that transition by moving these keyframes closer or further apart. Another thing you can do to make this effect more subtle is to move your time indicator to the middle of these keyframes and set the value for transition softness to 50. And this will make the transition more smooth. Now if we go back again and hit play, you can see what we've created over here. Another thing you can do is to come over to this invert gradient over here and check this invert gradient to create an inverted Luma Fit transition effect. Another thing you can do is to save this transition as a preset. To do that, simply go over to effects control and select the gradient wipe effect over here. Right click and select save preset and give it a name you prefer. Change the type from scale to anchor to in points because this transition starts from the beginning of the new clip and hit OK. So if I select this gradient wipe effect over here and delete it from this video, if I go out and hit play, you will notice that the effect is no more applied to this clip. Now, go over to your effects tab, select preset, you will find the effect here, gradient wipe preset that we just created and apply it to this new clip. And if we go back and hit play, you'll find it also applied to this new clip over here. So you can apply that to every clip as you prefer. And that's it guys on so now to create the Luma Fade Transition effect in Premiere Pro.